this is Pamela with Junk Journal Newbies, and I just thought I would show you how to make a little tear-off notebook that you can put in your junk journal. So I have some of these different scrap papers and also this guy, and I thought we'd use this as the cover. But maybe we'll tear it. We've already got one this size. Maybe we'll just tear some to be about that size. Let me see if there's any other ones. There's one more. And I think, oh, here's one more. And they don't have to be the same. And then here's another one. I'm just going to give it the tear look. So I'm going to tear off some of, some of this straight edge because I'm not a huge fan of that. I could use my cool cutting ruler. I should show you. I uh, should show you that ruler. It's really cool. Okay, so now I have that. Well, I don't need this. And then I think I'm going to do about, I don't know, maybe six or so. And they don't have to be the same size. And then, okay, let's see. I mean, one. They don't even need to be the same kind of paper. And so this is what I have. That's actually really cool looking. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to take... Maybe I'll save that for something else, and I'll just make a new one. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four. I think mix them up a little. They're a little different color. Five, six. Okay, and then I have this little stack, and then I'm going to take this. Oh, look how cute that is. I was going to take this side, but now that I see that, it's very cute, so... I think I'll take one just to get an idea hmm. where I want it to be. Maybe right in there somewhere. I'm going to cut this with this cute little cheap pair of decorative scissors so I have a bottom like that. And I'm going to just even this a little bit right here. Cut that off. I'm going to leave it a little bit bigger than that page is. If you can see that. It's just a little bit bigger. All the way around, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take all of these and do this. That's cute. Mm -hmm. I think I'll take maybe a piece of paper bag to put on the back. Like that. Let's see. That's big enough. Mm hmm stapler. See that little piece that's right there? I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to put one little staple. Actually, maybe I'll do two. I could do either one, but go with two. Okay, now if you don't mind the staples, that's fine, but let's say you don't like it. You know? You can take a piece of washi tape, or maybe you have some fabric or ribbon or something laying around. I just happen to have this one right here. So I'm going to use that to cover it. But I see this. So I'm going to just cut that a little bit so it's not so obvious. I think that looks better. Right? Hmm. Okay. Anyways, now, now I'm going to use my Fabrifix glue. I'm just going to put a little stream of glue, and then I'm going to use my finger to kind of knock down the extra. And I know this is too big, clearly, but I'm going to cut it off after I get it on there. Just use my scissors, cut that little guy off. Okay. 
There you go. And now I think I'm going to maybe put a little bow on the middle. And I, of course, have this ginormous bin of bows and things. So here we have this. I'm going to look for something that's too big, clearly. And let's see, maybe there's something smaller, maybe this size. Let's see if that'll work there. I think it will, don't you? Yeah, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it sort of in the middle. But you could put it anywhere. Even on the corner would look cute, but I'm going to put it right here. It's coming apart, but it'll be fine once I glue it down. And if I have to, I'll uh, use a little bit of glue. And look how cute that is in just minutes with extra scrap paper that you had laying around. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and uh, happy crafting.